isn't it? Now, he is famous for being a stand-up comedian, but Tez Ilias hasn't been able to perform on stage, of course, during lockdown. So he's used the time instead to write a book reflecting on his teenage years growing up as a British Muslim in Blackburn. Emmanuel Lahoney has been to meet him. Thank you so much for coming out. This is amazing. Biggest gig of my life. I'm very excited. So it's called The Secret Diary of a British Muslim, aged 13 and three quarters. I can barely say it in one breath. And it's about my life growing up in Blackburn in the 90s. So it's a very much a lockdown project. I started writing it in July last year. I needed something to do. Like, I'm a stand-up comedian. My job had completely gone during lockdown. Growing up, there wasn't a book for me to look back at. So people like, like the Asians who came here in the 60s, 70s, 80s, how they grew up, there wasn't a book that told me about their life. So it would be great for me to set a record about my life in the 90s. So I was quite a naughty, clever kid. So I got some of the best grades in my school, but I also got put in report three times because I couldn't keep my mask shut. So I'm obviously in the ideal job now where I get, on, get, where I get to stand on stage and tell jokes and that. Because we had nowhere to play, we'd often find ourselves playing in schoolyards, which is technically trespassing. And then we got to run in with a woman called Trish who lived across the road from school. So she eventually realised that actually the kids weren't the problem. The problem was that we had nowhere to play. And so she petitioned the council to build us a pitch in this area. And that cage there is the cage that was built as a result of her petition. What were some of the challenges that you faced when you were growing up? I mean, like everywhere, there's some challenges on there. There's the usual challenges you have about growing up. Um, you know, trying to get good grades at school, trying not to get in trouble from your parents, all those usual challenges. I think 9-11 changed a lot about the way Muslims are perceived in this country, so that was, that might be the sequel book actually, because that's where the book finishes. You talk about some of the racial abuse that you've been through personally. What was it like talking about that experience? You know, it was really interesting because I look back at it now and it never seemed like quite a big deal at the time. I think now there's a lot more focus and a lot more discourse and a lot more those sort of subjects are discussed a lot more. When I was younger, you kind of just learned to brush those things into copy. Some of, some of my mates there. Big up hats on that. Yes, mate. I think in this country, when the media discusses the working class... I'm on toilet later in the year. I'll probably get a haircut at some point. Fingers crossed. Um, yeah, so I'm on tour in the autumn. I'll be all over the Northwest. Uh, so buy a ticket and uh, let's all have a laugh together after all this is over because you need it.